Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I have finally, finally received all the parts necessary to fix my board. This is the Skytron Surgical Table Relay Board to which the fuse is popped. I went over that in another video because the remote had some yanked cables which then had some conductors touching. The board pops a fuse, a micro fuse, as a natural precaution to shut down parts of the table so that you can't, you know, inadvertently activate something that you don't intend to. But on this table, I also noticed that there is this tiny opto photo solid state relay. This guy is right here. You can see the dark mark on it. So what I am going to do is I have everything kind of set up right here. I'm going to go ahead and um, apply some masking, which is some heat masking. I'm going to do that with some aluminum foil. Sometimes people use Kapton tape, which is the yellowish tape. I'm going to use aluminum foil because I want a little bit of extra protection against some of those other things like the plastic components of this Omron uh, relay right here. But also uh, I want to keep that heat very localized. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out by preheating the board, which is I set my hot air supply to 200 degrees and I just in a circular motion, start preheating up the general area. We want to get that board up to about 100 degrees, which is far below the temperature of melting solder. But what you want is you want to kind of decentralize the amount of expansion due to uh, heating up a component. Because when you heat up a component, that's like three, 400 degrees in one spot. And that one spot could be expansion, just one little area. And all the surrounding areas are still cold, so it could cause cracking and complications further down the road. So how we resolve that and minimize the amount of complications is we do uh, regional heating of the PCB, which is preheating your board, okay? So that's one of the first things I'm gonna do. I've got everything kind of set up right here. I hope this all comes in to focus the way it should. So let's get started. I got my hot air supply uh, right here, right front and center. My soldering iron is on. I've got my Pico fuse right here and my photo solid state relay right here. Um, I bought multiples of these uh, because they're cheap. They're very inexpensive and they're very hard to get. So I bought 10 of the photo solid state relays and I bought five to 10 of these uh, Pico fuses. So let's get into it. Let's start it right now. So as soon as I pick up my hot air station, it kicks on. I set pre to 200 degrees. And I'm going to just start heating up the general region. And I don't keep the temperature on these caps, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just heat up the board nice and evenly. Keeping the heat away from the plastic components. There's two areas I gotta concentrate on. One is over here by the fuse. The other one's over here by the photo, the photo relay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put that guy down for a moment. And now I have to pull some of this off and put it over the areas of concern. So this one here, I'm gonna go around some of these components. All the way down to the board. And here's where I have some of these pieces of tape to help secure it. Excellent. A little piece of this guy in here. I know it's going to be kind of difficult to show you guys on camera all that I'm doing, but all I'm doing is masking some areas to kind of shield it from some of the intense heat that I'm going to inject into the area. 
go. And over that guy. And this that I'm going to be removing, this is the fuse, which is right there. So now that I get this guy out, I've got a pair of my uh, forced closed tweezers. And I could do this one of two ways. Uh, I think I'm going to do this with the hot air gun. Okay. Let's do this with the hot air gun. Let's see how well I can get this. So I've got the tweezers on the fuse. I could have probably got this guy with the soldering iron itself, but... Okay, there's one side starting to come. And mind you, I'm not pulling on it. There we go. Okay. So that's the fuse. Put that guy back in his dock. Let it cool back down. And the next component that I'm going to get is going to be that photo, photo solid state relay right there. Let's see if I can get it at this angle so that the camera can see it. Okay, let's do it. Oh, actually, let's mask off some areas. That board is hot. You know it. Okay. Oh yeah. Definitely warm. Okay, let's do it. 400 degrees. Gotta heat up the board a little bit on this side. There we go. There we go. Too easy. Too easy. That guy came up nice and smooth. All right. So now we can remove our masking. Make sure we get it all. Last thing we're gonna do is leave some aluminum foil floating around in there. Okay. All right, I'm just checking the sights right now to make sure everything is clear. I'm going to go ahead and put down some flux, just a spot. A spot here. A spot right here. Put down some flux over the pins. And here is where we use the soldering iron to clean up the old spots with some solder wick. So one of the first things I'm going to do is put some uh, paste flux on the solder wick. There we go. And I'm going to apply that down to the old holes and there we go. Suck up some of that extra solder that used to be there from the old fuse. Okay. All I gotta do is get the wick down on those pads and suck up the old solder. Boop, boop, boop. Just like that. Other side. Boop, boop, boop. All clean. Okay. So 
Now, I'm going to set the fuse for install. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare this fuse for installation. I'm going to clip the legs down a little bit. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to start by putting the legs in the holes. Like so. There we go. So the fuse is going to sit down flush to the board, just like that. Okay. And from the back side, I'm going to bend the legs out just a little bit to hold it exactly in the position I want. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my soldering gun, and I'm just going to put a spot. Right on those traces. Here we go. Next step, let's clip them off. Make sure it's as flush as possible. So the fuse, the fuse is in. Next is going to be the 8-pin photo solid state relay. Okay, next is going to be another unique trick. So right here is the area that I have to work with and this is the chip that I'm going to put down there. So let's see how well this works out. I gotta very carefully put it down. So pin one is facing the blue. Let's try this with the tweezers. Right there. So the way I'm gonna approach this is because it's in such a tight area, I'm going to go ahead and stick some solder on one or two of the legs and keep it oriented exactly where I want it and then I can tack down all the rest. So in order to do that, I'm going to clean my soldering iron. We're going to put some solder here and I'm going to hold the chip down. Okay. Tack that one leg down. I'm going to move it over a little bit. I'm going to tack this front corner leg and that should hold my chip completely in place while I tack down the rest of them. That should be all she wrote. All right, let's put some more solder on there. Make sure it's down. It feels like it's down pretty good now. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's three. All right, we're on a roll now. side. Okay, gotta clean my tip. Get some more. Okay. And this one's a little bit more of a challenge. There we go. I got a little bit of a bridge going on down there because of the angle from this capacitor right here. So what I'm going to do is just suck a little bit up, and check it in the microscope to make sure that all the legs are tacked down. Hopefully they are. That looks a hell of a lot better. So the new chip is in right here.
the new fuse is in, right here, and the little brown spots you see, that's flux. And now all I gotta do is go ahead and clean that flux away with a uh, cotton swab and some rubbing alcohol. And this board is ready to go. Not so bad. If I wasn't sitting here in a very hot room, it probably would be a wee bit better. Um, I got a little bit of flux to clean up here on the underside, but man, other than that, it is not that hard of a repair job. And it looks like all the traces are connected, verified under the microscope. And I think we are good to go. All right, guys. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this. It's not the typical technique that I would use, you know, using the aluminum foil and everything. But hey, it works. And it works well, quite well. So thanks again for watching. Tomorrow I'm going to plug this board in. I'm going to give it a shot on the surgical table, see how well it works out. It should be perfectly fine. Thanks again for watching, guys.